Hey everyone, welcome back for a little TLC. My name is Erica Blueford and today I really wanted to talk about how we're taking care of ourselves. There's really a lot going on in the world between the pandemic, between social and political unrest and work, school, and then doing ministry stuff. Sometimes I can find myself very exhausted and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of you as well. And so I just wanted to make sure you know that it's okay for you to take care of yourself. And I wanted to provide some tips for how we can do that um, with our mind, with our body, and also with our spirit. Now I'm gonna talk about them separately, but I want you to know that they're all intersected. And I definitely believe that how we are mentally definitely impacts our body, how we are spiritually impacts our mind and our body as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully you'll learn a lot from this today and get some good tips for how you can take care of yourself or at the very least be encouraged to take care of yourself. So starting with taking care of your mind, one thing that I really like to do is meditate or set some time aside at night where I'm very intentional about having some conscious breathing and really centering my thoughts. Um, at the end of a, a long day where my mind has been racing, a lot of the time is re it really is very beneficial to have some time set aside to just rest and to be still and to breathe and to debrief. I will do a lot of journaling. I will make sure that I have some soft music playing, the essential oils, they're in the diffuser so it smells nice really nice wherever I might be um and so that's a really good way through meditation and just by being still that we can really center our minds um a really good book that I like that talks about getting control of dominant negative thought patterns which definitely impact our mind and also our actions it's called get over it by Ilyana Ilyana <laughs> fun zant. I know I butchered that, but I'll put a picture of it up so that you know what I'm talking about. But I highly recommend that everybody get this book because it really is good with making sure that you're taking care of your mind and reminding you that how you think really does impact your actions and your interactions with everyone else. Another thing you can do to take care of your mind is get a therapist. I know sometimes people who believe in Jesus Christ think that they're like cheating on the Lord if they get a therapist, but that's so not true. The Lord gives all of us many different gifts, and I think it's incredibly beneficial to have a third party who can help walk you through some of your past traumas or things that you might be going through and help make sure that you really do have a sound mind, that you're processing things in the right way, that you're processing things at all. And so I definitely recommend getting a therapist. Your pastor is not your therapist, y'all. <laughs> so give your pastor a break. Um, there are some counselors and therapists who specialize in biblical counseling, so you don't have to worry about them taking you too far to the left if that's not where you want to go. But I just highly recommend you finding someone who is not your pastor, unless your pastor has some type of credentials that make them good for counseling, that you find a therapist. It is okay for you to shop around if you're not feeling somebody that you already saw go get somebody else like the therapist literally works for you so get you some therapy so that you can get your mind all in check and make sure that you're taken care of mentally um so those are three things that i recommend meditation getting this book get over it by i'm not even gonna try to say her name again <laughs> i'm just gonna put it up and getting a therapist those are all really awesome ways to get your mind in check the second thing I'll talk about is your body. How are you taking care of your body? Number one, are you getting enough sleep? My friends laugh at me all the time because I will be in the bed by 10 p.m. every night, but I gotta make sure that I'm getting my sleep in, okay? And it does not matter where I am, I will fall asleep on you. Um, so make sure you're getting enough sleep. What are you feeding into your body? Are you eating whole foods, um, foods that are gonna make you feel energized and not necessarily sluggish at the end of the day? Are you exercising if that's something that that makes you feel whole? You know, you don't have to go out here and be running a marathon, but make sure that your body is moving around at least a little bit. So do some light walking, make sure you're active. Are you getting outside and getting a little sunlight to make sure that you're you you know, you're energized by the sun, you get some good old vitamin D, boost that immune system. 
but we really have to be intentional about how we're taking care of our body. Lastly, I really want to encourage you all to take care of your spirit or some people are saying protect your energy. You have to do what you can to make sure that your spirit is in check and that you feel aligned and whole. Um, for some, this includes remaining connected to whatever higher power you believe in. I know for me, like when I'm in a funky mood, I have to ask myself, like, did you talk to God today? Because a lot of the times when I'm feeling funky, it means I did not talk to God. And so I have to make sure I get my prayer in. That can mean hanging out with your friends if you know that they help you keep your head on straight and they provide positive vibes for you. That could be making sure that your house is clean because sometimes if you're if the area that you're living in is junky it will tear up your whole spirit and you will feel discombobulated so make sure that you're doing that if it's exercising that makes you feel centered then do that don't lose track of the things that you really love to do the things that make you feel good just because you have a whole lot going on um if you need to turn off social media for a little while do that if that means saying no to some of the things people ask you to do protect your energy protect your spirit if that means cutting off some people who give you bad vibes or who you feel anxious when you're talking to them cut them off i give you permission today to protect your own energy to protect your spirit and to get rid of the things the events or the people who are not making you feel safe who do not make you feel whole who are taking more out of you than they are putting back in cut them off protect yourself so that's really what I have for today. With so much going on, I wanted to encourage you to take care of yourselves, take care of your mind, take care of your body, and take care of your spirit. Um, yeah, you just have to do it because if you get to a place of exhaustion, if you get to a place where you're completely burnt out and you're not caring for yourself, you're not going to be any good for anybody. You have to love yourself before you can adequately love others. So let me know what you all think. Are you taking care of yourself in this season? If so, what are some things that you're doing? If you're not, let me know that too, because I will, I will hold you accountable to make sure that you do a little bit better in taking care of yourself. I hope I will see you next week for a little TLC.